Hey guys, this is Alexander at All Security Equipment, and today we're going to go over how to wire a LiftMaster gate operator for solar application when the operator is 12 volts. So there are not that many operators from LiftMaster that have 12 volt, but it's very important that you watch this video because it's a very specific way of wiring. So the 12 volt systems that we have at LiftMaster is the LA412, the RSL 12 UL and then the RSW 12 UL. Those three operators only work in 12 volts. So if you try to wire them in 24 volts and you like fireworks, you're going to be served. All right, so I have all my equipment. We're using a LA500, which is not a 12 volt, but this is only for wiring purposes, not for you know, working purposes. So only use a 12 volt rated operator, such as the LA412 or the RSL12UL or the RSW12UL or any other 12 volt solar gate operator. All right, so I have all my equipment to show you how to wire in 12 volt. If you are looking for a 24 volt operator and wiring, check out this video right here and it's going to take you to the video for 24 volt systems. So LiftMaster gate operators often come with two batteries, two 12 volt batteries. However, if you have a 12 volt system, you have to make sure you wire your batteries in parallel because if you wire them in series, it's going to double the voltage and you will end up with 24 volt, which will damage the board. So you want to make sure that the wire is done in parallel. And that's where the LiftMaster solar harness comes in very handy because it comes with every wire for every type of application LiftMaster has when you want to do a solar wiring. So today for the 12 volt, we're going to use a couple of them. So we're going to use the jumper for the positive on the batteries, the jumper for the negative, and we're going to use the, the solar harness that comes. So first step is that you want to make sure that you remove any wiring that is made for AC power. So I already did that and that's the wire. I tucked it in the little Ziploc bag that we have in the box and I replaced. So the only thing that it means is that you have to open the compartment of the board, remove the wires that are hooked up to the transformer and to the batteries and just replace them with the solar harness wires. Second step that you want to do is going to be to wire the negative of the solar panels to the negative of the solar panel side. And it's very easily recognizable because it has a transistor right here on the positive. So you just take those two and you know that those two are going to be hooked up to the solar panel. And then you do the same thing with the positive wire. So once you have that done, you can take a look at the batteries. We're going to do a, a zoom and a close up on the battery wiring so that way you can really see how all this is wired. And here is a close up of the 12 volt wiring. So it's a little different from the 24 volt because the 24 volt is wired in series and the 12 volt because we have two 12 volt battery has to be wired in parallel so we can keep the same voltage. So for that, LiftMaster has jumper cables that have dual plugs, so you can plug in the harness and at the same time connect the two batteries together. Very important to put this one with the fuse. And so that's the big difference where if it's in series, this would go to the battery like it goes and then this one would go the negative of the other battery would go to the wiring and then one cable would jump the positive to the negative from one battery to the other but in that case we need to make sure that both of the batteries are connected to the harness 
and then that each battery is connected to the same positive on each and negative on each. And that's how you get a two battery backup system, 12 volt battery, seven amp hooked up in parallel. And the most important thing is at all security equipment, we try to make things, things simple. So we sell a 30 watt solar panel, which is the maximum you can use per 12 volt for LiftMaster operators. So you use one 30 watt panel for a 12 volt system and then two 30 watt panels for a 24 volt system. If you want smaller panels, you can also buy from LiftMaster the 10 watt solar panels and then you would need, you can put it up to three, but you would have to wire them in parallel to make sure that you have the correct amount of voltage for the system. All right, and now that all the wiring is done, you want to make sure that your solar panel is facing as much south as possible for the better sun exposure. You can check what is the best angle also to put your solar panel at for maximum efficiency. You will have tons of calculators online based on your zip code. And then you just take the plug and plug it into the board and you're good to go. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can find the list of all the products that we use today in the description below. And I'll see you on the next video.